What's up you guys? Hope you're having an awesome day. I'm your host Eamon Hassan and welcome back to another video. After having done more than one Parallel Universes released series on the channel now, I feel like I know my subject matter pretty damn well, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Some things just seem like a Mandela effect, a simulation glitch if you will. My dear Abby hit you with part one and here I am bringing you part two. These are the top ten things that look like they came from a Parallel Universe part two. Starting off with number ten are the Galaxy Flowers. Uploaded by now deleted reddit user, these two flowers look like they have galaxies stored in their petals. And I know the picture wasn't moving, but I feel like in real life I'd expect the galaxies to be like, you know, like swirling around on the petals. But you know the image I'm going for. I've actually seen this in real life quite a few times, it's just a speckled flower which ended up growing up that way, but suspend your disbelief and imagine it was a galaxy filled flower. That's a parallel universe I definitely want to be in, are you kidding me? Like things would be so interesting to look at I would finally have to stop looking at my phone, thank god. We need that. Got to my Insta following. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm actually not like that. Or am I? I guess you'll never know. <laughs> Coming in at number nine is Coca Cola. We are so used to seeing Coca Cola as red. You can't miss it. The branding is almost angrily punching you in the face. However, this Turkish Reddit user came upon a light blue Coke can. The Tiffany blue of Coke cans, if you will. And the world became shooketh. Our Coke cans are red or black, depending on how much sugar is in there. So imagine the audacity of this light blue can. I did the simulation glitch and this somehow popped into our universe instead of its actual intended one. I feel like this one is more calming to look at, though it's just like a calm blue, you know what I mean? I feel like people in that universe are a lot more zen than we are. And they're like, ah, oh, drinking my blue coke can. <laughs> I don't know why they sound like that, but they do now. <laughs> In my head. At number eight, we have Stop and Smile. And believe me when I tell you that this sign and the blue Coke can are from the exact same universe, no cap. So instead of a regular red stop sign, this stop sign is a dark blue one, and on it it says Stop and Smile. Like, again, no alarming red, just a calm blue, and a nice reminder to stop and seize the day. I feel like there are a lot of lessons we need to learn from this other universe that is apparently doing it a lot better than we are. One of those lessons is calmness, the other is stop using the colour red so much in advertising and signs and our lives. Like the blue isn't even making me sad, it's like ah, oh, blue, I will stop and smile. <laughs> <laughs> Filling out of a seven slot are the floor traffic lights. So instead of traffic lights being in the three circle formation that we've been used to since basically birth, the traffic lights found in this area are randomly on the floor before the arrows to cross the road. These lights are like three horizontal lights, the left picture being green as in good to go and the right pick being stop aka red. As I just did, I just stopped myself, was that a matrix glitch? You'll never know. Now apparently this is designed for a universe where humans are literally unable to look away from their phones and therefore are always looking down. So to battle that and any road crossing related accidents, this further advanced parallel universe was like, you know what, don't even look up, honestly it's fine, we'll just put the lights on the ground, screw the cars, they'll just guess. Now at number 6 is the blurry tree, honestly this is such a cute tree, just, just straight up vibing on some residential street, but the leaves are so opaque and vibrant and the shape of them actually makes it look like a blurry glitch. Like I would definitely double blink if I saw this because I'd be like, wait, wait, I know I don't have 2020 vision, but I definitely don't see pixelations now. Come on, give me some credits. I could definitely see this tree being in like a Crash Bandicoot game or one of the first few Tomb Raiders, but it's low key kind of cute that it's somehow in our universe. The parallel universe it's actually from is probably quite cute, and you most likely have at least three lives instead of one. That's just like a daylight robbery. Why only give us one life? That's just actually rude if you ask me. I feel personally attacked. Just me? Let me know below if you feel personally attacked that you only get one life. <laughs> like this video for more! <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at number 5 is the pink grasshopper. Now this one was shared by Reddit Breakfast Beers and it appears to be a fully pink grasshopper. Now I don't know if this one is one of those fake pink rubber grasshoppers or it has some kind of genetic mutation, but wow. Can you imagine if insects like ants, cockroaches and grasshoppers were all different neon colours? They'd be like 50 times less scary and disgusting, so I mean, props to the universe it comes from. You're thriving more than we are, clearly. Every time I see a cockroach I'm like, eh! <laughs> 
number four is Us But Not. Now this one was shared by Reddit user Sir Lab Rats, and it's eight cereal boxes that look exactly the same as popular cereal brands, except they're called different things. Fruit Loops is now Fruit Rounds, Lucky Charms is now Marshmallows and Stars, Cheerios are now Honey Nut Crispy Oats, Rice Krispies are Cocoa Rice, and so forth. From the picture, you can just tell that these just taste slightly off. Like you're so hoping for the taste you know and love, but when it mixes the milk, you just know something's not right. It's just something's not right. And I feel like that reflects the parallel universe it comes from. Like that world is probably not that different from ours, but everything's just slightly off, you know, slightly askew. Something just off center. You can't put your finger on it, but something's wrong. Filling our number three slot is the lack of M. Now this is just so whack, it's not even funny. It's not even logical. So this one was shared by Joel TB on Reddit, and it's a picture of the McDonald's restaurant sign, except it's not the two arches that turn into an M, it's just one overarching arch. So it's not even an M anymore. It's like a bloody N or like an upside down U. It's not McMonald's or McNonald's or McDonald's, is it now? It's McDonald's. M, two arches. One arch is almost just sacrilegious, honestly. I won't accept it. Now, whatever parallel universe this fell out of, please just take this back, because here in our show of a world, we accept only M's. We are McDonald's. Goodbye. Now, at number two is the colorful cob. Now, this one is actually low key cute, if only the colors seemed more appetizing. This cob was shared by Reddit user here for the memes. Great name, by the way. Aren't we all here for the memes? Now, I don't know how exactly the corn got to be multicolored. Maybe it's Photoshop. Maybe it's food coloring, maybe it's Maybelline. I can just totally imagine the universe this came from like something resembling Munchkin Land or wherever the character Strawberry Shortcake was from. Just, you know, a lot of colorful food. I kind of want to see what other food they have in this universe now because this one is just mighty interesting. You know what I mean? It's mighty interesting. And finally, at number one is the Blue M. Now, this is a McDonald's located in Sedona, Arizona, and was uploaded by Instagram user Crockett1260. And the M is literally a calm light blue. Blue. Not the yellow we know and love, but blue. And I can bet my literal life that this is from the same universe as the Coke can and the stop and smile sign. Like this universe's color scheme is 50 shades of blue. This just doesn't sit right with me personally because yellow is the color we associate with happiness. It's not a calm meal, big man, it's a happy meal. Get it right. Take your M back. And that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very fun for me to do. If I seem extra chirpy, you can blame producer Chris because he's just always great vibes. As always, let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'm Eamon Hassan and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>